calculate the volume of solid formed when the shaded area below is rotated about the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line x is e x equal to 2. So this is the shaded area, and this is the graph of y is equal to 1 over x. So I have plotted some points. I have uh, took, uh, taken the screenshot of my graphic calculator. So this is your y-axis, this is your y-axis, and this is your x-axis. Okay. And when x is 2, y is half, when x is 1, y is 1, and so on. So if you want to find, if you're rotating over x-axis, you're rotating over x-axis. So this is your rotation. And to understand the rotation, I'm going to split this area into two parts. Okay, so first let me explain this part. So if this region, so let me shade that with a different color. So this, I'm talking about this region. So this is a rectangle. So if you, can, I hope you can understand, this rectangle, if it's rotated, this whole rectangle, you'll get a cylinder. So the radius, the height, so first you get a cylinder. So we're talking about x-axis. We are rotating over x-axis. So when you're rotating over x-axis, we are rotating two separate areas. Okay, so this is not, this part is not in the curve. And this is a rectangle. So for one, one thing that you will get a cylinder, when you rotate this rectangle, you'll get a cylinder with a radius of, uh, you're rotating, so what will be your radius? Your radius would be, this is your zero, and this is two. So your radius would be two. Okay, and your height of that cylinder would be half. So this is your height, this is your height, and this is your, uh, this is your radius, so height of half. So volume of cylinder uh, would be pi r squared h. The volume of cylinder is pi r squared h. So that is pi times r squared, which is two squared times half. So four times half, this is two pi. So the volume, so let me call this V1. Uh, that is 4 times half, which is 2 pi. That's one. Th this is the volume of this part. Now, this, this is a region that you're again going to rotate. This green and blue shaded region is area under the curve and the x-axis. Now, to understand the rotation, uh, to understand the solid, uh, due to rotation, it's always good to draw a strip. Okay, imagine this is an infinitesimally thin strip. Okay, and here your height, the height of that strip is y. Okay, or the radius of that strip, when you're rotating this over x-axis, this height, this will become your radius, okay, of the cylinder, and this is your width. So let me explain that. So when you're rotating this over x-axis, what you're going to get is a disk. You will get a disk. Imagine you're getting a disk of, of radius. This is your center of the disk. So the radius of that disk would be y. So if you can think in a visual, if you can visualize it in a 2D, uh, sorry, in a 3D, form. So this is the thickness. This is the disk. I hope you can see the thickness. This is an infinitesimally thin disk, which has a dick, which has a thickness of dx. So this is the disk of dx. So this dx, this is this becomes the thickness, and your this y becomes the radius of the disk. So, so the second volume, so V2, would be the volume of all the disk between half to, that means if you add up all the infinite disk from half to two, that will give you the volume of this shaded region. So V2 would be the definite integration from half to two of pi r squared dx. Okay, now your r in this case is your y, and your y is half y is equal to 1 over x. 
So this V2 would become inti definite integration of half to 2 of pi times y squared dx. Okay, so this becomes, so we can say V2 is equal to the definite integration from half to 2 of, you can factor the pi out of y squared. What, what's y? y is 1 over x, so I can say in place of y, I can put 1 over x squared dx. 1 over squared, 1 over x squared dx. So this is definite integration of half to 2 of 1 over x squared is x to the power negative 2 dx. Of course, you have to have the pi outside. So which is nothing but uh, integration of x to the power negative 1 is x to the power negative 1 over negative 1. And the limits are from half to 2. And the pi is sitting out here. So let me use different more space. So this is equal to pi. So you have to put the, so this, can I simplify this as negative 1 over x, uh, the limit from half to 2. So if you put the limit back in this equation, you'll have pi here sitting out. So if you put 2, so it'll be negative 1 over 2 minus negative 1 over half. So I'm doing more steps so that you understand. So this is equal to pi times, this is negative half. And dividing by half is same as uh, multiplying by. So this 2 goes up, so this will become plus 2. Okay, so this is 2 minus half is 1 and a half. So this is 1.5 pi. So your V2 is 1.2 pi, 1.5 pi. So the total volume of this solid of rotation or revolution, total volume would be V1 plus V2. Would be V1 plus V2. Okay, so what is V1? V1 is, V1 is 2, uh, which is 2 pi plus 1.5 pi. So your final answer, the total volume of this solid would be 3.5 pi. 3.5 pi. Okay. I would like you to uh, do the next problem yourself. And you will find when you're rotating over y-axis, uh, you will have the same volume. Okay. So try to do that yourself. And probably in the next video, I'm going to uh, tackle this problem. What happens when you're rotating over the line x is equal to 2? So just to give you a helping hand, when you're rotating over y-axis, so let me move this. So let me delete that just, just to give you an understanding. Delete, and this also I'm going to delete. So if you want to rotate it over y-axis, you have to split this into two areas like this. So this is, you're rotating over your y-axis. Your axis of rotation has changed now. So let me use a different color, say this color. So you're rotating over your x or your y-axis. So this is your rotation. Okay, so, and then you have to draw a strip. Uh, so where is the strip? So the strip would be along the y-axis. You can take a strip anywhere, yeah? And you're rotating over y-axis. So this, you're rotating, this would become a rectangle. So this would become a cylinder if you're rotating this part from 0 to uh, point, 0 to point 0.5, that will become a cylinder. And when you're rotating this, your width is going to be, or your thickness is going to be dy. And this is going to be x. And then you have to integrate between half to 2 of x dy. And of course, you can understand you will get the same answer.